The Dating Show, brought to you by OlderDatingOnline.com. Hello, Emily. How are you? Hello, Rodney. I'm very well, thank you. It's been a while. <laughs> We've, um, it's Roderick. It's not Rodney. I know. I just say <laughs> I do it, it to, to wind you, you up. You do all the time, don't you, uh, Amelia? <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm quite happy with that name, though. <laughs> we just don't get on, do we? No. It's difficult. Just like now, art, em, em, art emesis, nemesis. Emesis, nemesis. Now, the thing is, um, Debbie Russ is away on holiday. Good so you're, you're you're sitting in her seat there. The hot seat. The hot seat. Now, we're talking today about cocktails. Mm -hmm. So what's your take on that? Do you like a good cocktail? I, I love them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm very partial to the odd cocktail. Are you? What's your favourite? Um, I think I'd have to say like a frozen strawberry daiquiri. Ooh, yeah. And what's that like? Strawberry? Yeah. Anything frozen. else? Any lots other? of lots. I think there's a bit too much ice, though, for my liking. There could be a bit more alcohol. And on a date, is it a good idea to uh, go down the cocktail route, do you I think, think? Yeah, I think so. Why not? I actually think it's quite interesting to see what, what people have a taste for. And it almost, I don't know whether this could be something that you could look into, see personality types. You know, someone who goes for the sex on the beach. <laughs> they might be a bit of a, an extrovert, <laughs> to say the least. OK, well, let's, um, we've had our reporter Julie Davis look at this. Um, I have to warn you that... Um, with her as, as with you, I didn't get off to the best of starts no? because, um, well, let's just hear what happens. The Dating Show, brought to you by OlderDatingOnline.com. So, joined again by our reporter Julie Davis looking at cocktails. So, Julie, do you enjoy a slow screw on the beach? <laughs> well, who doesn't? <laughs> it's what I would say. <laughs> you knew I was going to come up with something like that, didn't you? I just knew it, yes. Right. Is that actually... That is a cocktail, isn't it? Well, there's sex on the beach. Ah. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you've added in an extra liqueur that we don't know about to make it a, a slow screw on the beach. <laughs> OK, sorry, right. Um, it's the weather. Yeah, I'll blame it on the weather. <laughs> OK, so are cocktails a good idea when you're dating? Yes, they are, I would say. If you're partial to a drink or two and you're wanting to relax, especially in the summer and... When they have a happy hour, maybe you could start off the evening going for a happy hour for an hour or so, drink a few cocktails, loosen up a little bit, get in the mood, and then proceed with your evening. I mean, there's always the risk that the happy hour extends into the rest of the evening and you don't then remember the first date. So, you know, it, it's wise to make sure that your date that you've chosen to spend the evening with is, is up for a few cocktails too. Yeah. OK, and which ones would you recommend? Which would I recommend? Oh, my goodness, there's so many. I mean, some of the popular ones is something like a Cosmopolitan, which I'm sure you've heard of, made famous by uh, Sex in the City. Well, and that's something a lot of, the, lot of the ladies would order. That's a vodka-based cocktail. Okay. Um, and the vodka-based ones are very popular. The vodka-based ones, they're most popular, and they mix well with, with lots of fruit juices. So they're very good for summertime. Um, you've got something like a gin-based cocktail. They're sort of more earthy, almost a, they've got almost a medicinal flavour to them because they're made from juniper berries, and you can have a long drink with them. And then, of course, you've got your rum and your tequila. Uh, rum's got that smoky sweetness to it. And then whiskey, which is a very sophisticated flavour, and it blends well with both the sweet and sour mixes. OK, and from a man's point of view, what's the... What's a good drink for a man to have? Well, what's good, it's funny, actually, because it used to be seen as very much women would drink these certain cocktails and men would drink others, but actually that was nothing to do with the taste. It was more to do with the glasses that the cocktails come in. So, for example, um, gentlemen wouldn't feel so at ease by having a martini simply by finding it hard to actually hold um, the martini glass due to the shape of it, okay. even though the cocktail inside a martini glass is generally classed as more a masculine drink. So now they're not so gender-specific as they used to be, cocktails. Um, it's more about what you actually enjoy drinking for yourself. So, um, I mean, again, some of, the, some of the names that cocktails are, they're quite amusing. As, as you've already said, apparently there's also one that's called a, um, a fuzzy navel. Now, I'm not sure that's necessarily one you'd want to order on a first date, particularly. A couple of fuzzy navels, please. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't sound good, does it? I just think about uh, Only Fools and Horses and Del Boy yeah. uh, ordering those uh, extravagant... Cocktails. The umbrellas. Yeah. Yes. Is it, I mean, is it a bit pretentious to maybe um, 
or courageous even to to do this on a first date? Should you stick with more traditional drinks or go with the cocktails? I would think, unless you're very comfortable with handling your drink and you know it's it's not going to make you lose control, maybe you'd be best off just going somewhere for a glass of wine or a meal or a beer or something that maybe you can keep you a bit more under control because the danger with cocktails sometimes is they're so enjoyable that you don't actually realise how many you've had until you've fallen off the bar stool, which obviously wouldn't be a good look on the first date. So, yeah, I think you you need to judge it by um, yourself and your first date and how comfortable you both are with going to cocktail bars and handling this mix of spirits that you might find yourself consuming over the evening. Yeah, I had a bad New Year's Eve one one year on cocktails. Woke up with the worst ever hangover. Uh, we, you know, after consuming a few, so um, just finally, Julie, just mm. tell us what's your favourite. What's my favourite? Well, I'm a bit partial to a strawberry Collins, which is um, that's a similar to the normal uh, original Collins drink, but it's actually a strawberry infused vodka, and it's mixed with lime and soda and ice. And then actually, I'm a bit of a traditionist in some ways. I don't mind a Bloody Mary. That's very good for a hangover cure, to have a Bloody Mary. That's quite nice. So I wouldn't say no to one of them either. So I imagine you have a few of those. (laughs) Excuse me? (laughs) I don't know what you're implying. (laughs) OK, that was Julie Davis, our reporter on The Dating Show. And um, she drinks. Does she? I've been out with her drinking. But I've also been out with you drinking. (laughs) And we went uh, abroad to Spain for a trip. Not not just the two of us. No, there was other people there as well, unfortunately. (laughs) Oh. <laughs> oh. But there was three, three nights I can remember being in bars with you. We started drinking early and it was sort of 6am. Carried on through, yeah. It was ridiculous. You've really got a drink problem. Have I? I think so. But, but then I mean, what, what would that make you? That... I mean, you were hilarious on wine. I can, ma- can imagine, only imagine what you would have been like on cocktails. Alive. <laughs> <laughs> Full of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they put those umbrellas in the cocktail? Are you not a fan? Well, I've, you know, why, just why do they do that? Do you I know? think the appeal is just to make it a bit more special than a regular drink. So you think, oh, look, that lady's having one of that. Oh, I'd quite like one of those umbrellas in my drink. So yeah. I'd say that must be the reason to catch your eye and to make you want to order the same as that person as well. And uh, have you ever had a fuzzy navel? No, I haven't. <laughs> and I don't know whether I want to try one. I don't know what's in there, but... Doesn't sound very appealing. <laughs> <laughs> the Dating Show, brought to you by OlderDatingOnline.com.